Working with a large worksheet can be cumbersome. You will find that as you try to view data either on the right or the bottom of the worksheet, this will cause you to lose your column and row headings. Therefore, it can be difficult to know exactly what category or heading in which your data falls. To help with this problem and allow your column and row headings to always remain visible, you can split your screen. Notice that over here I'm going to go ahead and split my screen horizontally. So I will come to my vertical scroll bar and right up above the up arrow for the vertical scroll bar, you have this little bar. If you position your mouse on this bar, it's actually the split screen bar, you will get this double arrow mouse tool. And when you click and drag, you are pulling out a split to split your screen horizontally. When I let go, you will see I have split my screen in two pieces, basically two worksheet areas. Notice that each area has its own scroll bar. This is the same worksheet represented twice in these two areas. Notice if I scroll down now, I am not losing my column headings. I can always tell where I'm at, all the way down even to the bottom of my list. Up here in the very top part, notice that if I start to scroll down, I will also be scrolling through the worksheet. Typically, you will want to leave your top and your left when we split the screen vertically here. You will want to leave these set at the very first start rows. Let's go ahead and split our screen vertically. So again, I will come to my horizontal scroll bar and notice that there is a split bar over here on the far right. When I position my mouse on it, I get the double arrow tool and if I click and drag, I can split my screen vertically. And again, if I scroll over, I can see where all of my data falls within what row heading. And again, if I set it so that I'm looking at what would be the worksheet as one item, I've actually got four different views going on within this worksheet. If you want to unsplit your screen, simply position your mouse on the split bar within the worksheet and then click and drag and pull that up to the top or if it's vertical, pull it back over to the far right and you will unsplit your screen. Okay, now let's go ahead and apply splitting the screen to our project. To do that, open up product list or access your product list and again if you'd like to open a clean start file you can do that by opening up 0602 start for this movie. This is our product list up to this point. Make sure you are on the product list tab, not the menu tab, but the product list tab. And the first thing we're going to do before we split our screen is add some more information to the spreadsheet to our product list. So go ahead and select cell A2 and type in product and you might need to push your spacebar twice to get rid of the list, but we want just product and then go ahead and push tab or click in B2 but make B2 your active cell and let's go ahead and type in price or dollar sign per unit and again press tab or click in C2 and make that the active cell and let's go ahead and type in inventory. Then position your cursor in cell B3 and let's import some data. Go to your data tab, make that your active tab, and then click get external data. Remember to set your cursor in B3 before you initiate this import. So I'll go ahead and click external data and choose from text. Go ahead and navigate to your chapter 06 directory in your Excel 2007 course folder and choose unit under slash cost dot txt this text file and click import. Again this import process should look familiar. Here's the import wizard. We want delimited and everything else is set correctly. Go ahead and click next. It is a tab delimited file. Make sure you select that and then go ahead and click next and keep the column data format to general and click finish. This will open up the import data dialog box saying do you want to import the data in the existing worksheet at cell B3 again with an absolute reference. Yes we want B3 this is where we want the data to start and it will import in all the unit costs for our product list. Go ahead and say OK to that. Here is our data brought in.
And then over here in inventory in cell C3, set your cursor and type in 20. And for the sake of simplicity, we're going to start our inventory with 20 units of each product. So go ahead and type in 20 and press enter on your keyboard to enter that data. Then to fill that all the way down, again select cell C3, position your cursor on the little handle in the lower right hand corner, click and drag and pull all the way down to the bottom of your product list and let go. 20 units will be filled in. And to do one more small edit here, go ahead and select row two so that the entire row is selected by clicking on the number two over here on the row headings and right click within that row and choose insert. Let's insert a Blake row above our category headings. Now, to split the screen, come up here to your vertical scroll bar and position your mouse on the split screen bar. Click and drag and pull that down underneath your column headings so that you have a horizontal split in your screen right here. All right, go ahead and save your worksheet now. We've split our screen. We've made it so we can scroll down and still see our category headings to do more development on this throughout the tutorial. Please move on to the next movie.